It's been over two years since I first installed the Moen Flow automatic water shutoff at one of our properties. So it's time for an update. And keeping with the style of YouTube, I'm going to give you five things I've learned in the past two years about the Moen Flow. Okay, so over two years ago, we installed our first Moen Flow at one of our short-term rentals. About six months later, we installed another one at another short-term rental. I'm gonna give you my five things I've learned uh, in those past two years about this product. Number one. Wi-Fi connectivity has been great. As far as smart devices go, uh, sometimes some are much better than others. Some drop off a lot. You can't connect to them. You got to reboot them. I can say in the two plus years that we've had this, we haven't lost connection to this thing once uh, at either property. So that's using two different routers, two different internet providers, all that kind of stuff. We've had zero issues connecting to it or having it function the way it should, which makes it really easy to use and keep track of what we want to keep track of and also make sure that it's doing the job that it's made to do. Point number two, the alerts we get from it have been really helpful, uh, even more so than I would have imagined. So aside from the main function of shutting off the water, if there's a large leak, it gives us all these alerts about small leaks which have been really helpful to know if a faucet is dripping that we don't know about and just slowly wasting water. Uh, it tells us exactly how much water is being wasted and whatnot. The other thing I wasn't expecting that's been helpful on numerous occasions is actually the water pressure. So if your water pressure drops below what it normally is, it'll send you an alert. And I wouldn't really thought that this was a big deal, but we've had multiple issues at one of our short-term rentals where there was a problem. Uh, one time it was with the water utility. The, the water was just shut off for a certain period of time. Another time it was actually in our front yard. Someone had been doing some work next door and they accidentally hit a pipe uh, and our water pressure dropped to zero. For short-term rentals and Airbnb type stuff, this has made us look really good because what I was able to do was I got that alert right away before the person staying there, before the guest who's there even noticed that there was a problem. And I was able to reach out and say, hey, listen, uh, I'm alerted to an issue with the water pressure. We know about the problem. We're looking into it. Uh, and jumping ahead of those problems, letting the guests know before they even find out themselves is just a huge benefit to us. Being able to be proactive in customer service in that sense has been super helpful as far as water pressure goes, which is something I, I didn't really expect to be so helpful. Point number three is your insurance savings. So in my part one video, I mentioned that some insurance companies specifically mention automatic water shutoffs as a, as a discount on your homeowner's insurance. And I can confirm that the rent, um, homeowner's insurance we have on both of these short-term uh, rental properties is saving us over $100 a year because we have this Moen flow. So all you have to do is install it. Once you activate it, Moen actually gives you a certificate you can download and send right to your insurance provider. And yeah, it's been over $100 a year. So for the cost of the thing, which is you know several hundred dollars, really you're gonna recoup that in just a couple of years just based on uh, premium savings on your homeowner's insurance. So definitely look into that. Uh, if, that if you're on the fence about putting this in, um, that may be something that uh, saves you some money. Point number four is something that from my first video, some people in the comments had asked about, and I think I had mentioned about home versus away versus sleep mode. And I won't get into all the particulars of each of those modes, but I describe all that in part one. But I will say my initial concern was that we would have guests at the property and they would be using an inordinate amount of water because they're taking a long shower or something like that. And the mowing uh, unit would recognize that as a leak and shut it off. So in the very beginning, I was going back every time someone stayed there and I was setting the unit to sleep, which means that it's not going to ever shut off the water uh, if it notices 
a lot of usage because I didn't want this happening. But you can only set sleep mode for, I think it's up to like 72 hours. And the reason, we went back and forth and I actually asked Moen about this. The reason why they do that is because they don't want this unit left on sleep accidentally for an extended period of time because now it's defeating the purpose of the automatic shutoff. So they don't let you set it on sleep for any longer than a couple days. I was concerned about that, but it turns out once the unit after a couple months learns the general water usage, we haven't had any issues of normal usage triggering a shutoff, okay? In the first few months, there was, I wanna say maybe two instances where someone was taking a longer shower and I got a warning and what it says is uh, your water is going to be shut off in like five minutes because we're noticing excess usage. I was able to cancel the warning before it happened, so there was no disruption. I was worried that if I hadn't seen that uh, at another time in the future that, you know, I didn't cancel it in time and all of a sudden people have their water shut off. So that was my initial concern. But I can say in the past year and a half, we have had over 100 guests, different groups of guests and these range from a group of three to four people all the way up to 12 and uh, in the house at once <clears throat> and we have not had any issues with an accidental shutoff so my initial concerns about home and sleep and all that kind of stuff um, I'm really not worried about anymore I don't think about it I just leave it set to home and I let it do its thing and I wait for it to uh, alert me if there's any issues okay point number five is just an add-on accessory that we've uh, purchased since then. They offer a battery backup for the unit. I just wanted to show you, uh, first of all, how I installed it, which was pretty simple, but also kind of the idea behind it. We initially bought it for this property, which is up in the mountains, and uh, I was more concerned with the electricity going out. So I purchased it for that, but we decided up here to just get a, a standby generator anyway, so I don't need it. So I took it back down to the other property because I had already purchased it and I installed it. And here's the theory behind it. If your power goes out and you don't have a standby generator or backup batteries, you're gonna lose internet as well. So you're not gonna be able to communicate with the flow. But by powering it, and it's just a battery pack that stays charged and will power it, I think for a couple days, uh, it still gives the flow the functionality to turn off the water by itself if there's an issue. So you won't be able to see what's going on, but it will still work even without a Wi-Fi connection by monitoring the water and shutting it off as needed. Okay, there should be a number six here, but I can't confirm that this function works, and that is to deal with sprinklers. I initially thought at our first property, which has lawn sprinklers, that I was gonna be able to update you on whether the sprinklers affected the use of the flow or not. There's a setting in the app where you can set it up to tell it whether you have irrigation and what type of irrigation you have. However, what I realized at this property was our irrigation line taps off of the main before the water comes into the house. So our flow is set up on the main in the house and our irrigation taps off prior to that. So when our sprinklers go on, the mowing unit doesn't know anything about it because it's downstream of that. So I can't update as to whether there's any issue with that or not. If anyone has this unit at a property with irrigation and wants to leave some uh, info <clears throat> here, I'd be uh, really interested to know whether there's any hiccups there um, with the irrigation system kicking off the floor. All right. And that's it. Thanks to those of you who watched my first video and used my referral code. I really appreciate that. Unfortunately, Moen has at least temporarily discontinued that. They say because of supply side issues or some crap. I don't know. If I have any other information I learn about this unit, I will definitely keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all my new videos in the world of property management, renovation, Airbnbs, real estate investing in general, and pretty much any other project I get myself into. Thanks again. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to leave a comment below.